Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here today, I've got my Ruger American in 30 out 6. Let me show you the whole setup here quick. Pretty plain Jane, basic, budget friendly hunting rifle. On top, I got a same kind of deal, real affordable Bushnell banner scope on it. She's got 16 zoomies on her. And why is it important to know about bullet trajectory or bullet drop. So, all of my rifles, I sight them made at 100 yards. Well, what if a deer pops up at 50 yards? Or what if a deer pops up at 200 yards? I can't hold dead on with my crosshairs. I need to know where the bullet is going to hit at different distances. So for this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you out to the range I'm gonna verify my 100 yard sighted and make sure that this rifle is still on. I'm gonna come in closer, fling one at 50 yards, see where it hits, so that way if you see a deer at 50, I would know where to hold. Then I'm gonna send some at 200 yards with this 30 out six, and we're gonna see how much that bullet drops between the 100 yard dead on sight in and 200 yards. Gravity is pulling on that bullet, wanting to bring it down. The ammo that I'm using, for this video today is some normal whitetail 30 out 6 150 grain projectiles I sighted this thing in with this ammo just a little bit ago let me roll in some footage of that stuff sighting this rifle in with that ammo on a bench rest is 100 yards and we'll come up closer to this 50 yards then we'll go way back there to the 200 yards and we'll show you guys the bullet trajectory and the bullet drops here but real quick just to show you what I'm looking at all right first shot here let's verify the R100 yep looks like we're still good still inside that bullseye ring a hair bit left now let's bring him back to 50, send one at 50, see where the 50 hits. Only maybe a quarter inch lower from the 100 yard side end. Really confident in this setup, it's dead on at 100. So what did we see there in the footage? At 50 yards, we're still hitting very, very close to where that 100 yard sight in is. Half an inch, maybe at max one inch off. Very, very close. So if a deer pops out at 50 yards, it's still a safe bet. You could just about hold dead on where the, those crosshairs are dead on at 100 yards. But on out there to 200 yards what did we see there the average bullet drop of this ammo when sighted in at 100 yards at 200 yards that average hit there was hitting about six inches low so when i'm out on my hunting trip later on here in a few weeks i'm going to need to hold six inches high of where i want that bullet to impact on that animal. Now that we saw what happens when you sight in at 100, back in at 50, and then out to 200 and seeing that six inch drop, let me do some mathematical calculations here and show you the bullet drop with this exact setup all the way out to 1,000 yards, what the drop will be in inches, and some of the adjustments on your scope. All right, now let's look at a larger chart here at 100 yard steppies out here so g1 coefficient here the bc on that normal whitetail 30 out six is 274 i put in the 150 grain bullet weight this is the actual speed that i chronographed with that ammo out of my ruger so that's my data there that i put in rough guesstimate on 1.5 inch side height sure so here we go Sighted in, dead on at 100 yards. This bullet 
chart drop says I should be losing about four inches. Maybe those plates, it was closer to four inches and not six inches. I didn't get the measuring tape out, but this chart is saying with that ammo and those speeds at 200, I should be dropping four inches. At 300, 15 inches, still not bad. 400 yards, we got almost three feet. 500 up to 68 inches, and you see the numbers here. All the way down to 1,000, we're dropping almost 600 inches. But we can look at the MOAs and the mills. If you guys are into that, have those reticles or uh, know how to dial those in your scope. We've got some videos teaching you how to do that if you're not familiar. But at 200, it's only half mil, so there's not much to dial there. At 200, I'd probably feel better just holding over four inches than worrying about your scope. But longer range, you're not going to be able to hold over 118 inches very well. But you can see there too, this ammo is slowing down beneath the sound barrier between 600 and 700 yards. And this is kind of cool too sometimes to see the, the flight travel. So that 30 out 6, it takes it over two seconds to uh, travel a thousand yards. And you can see the energy where it falls off too. So it has under a thousand foot pounds of energy after 400 yards. So there's just some quick data on the bullet drop chart calculations I did. If you have a different type of ammo, it's probably going to be pretty similar to this. It won't be exact, but pretty close. So, Saturday night at 100, 4 inches a drop at 200 yards, 15 inches at 300, and then 3 feet of drop at 400 yards. But hey, 30 6 is a proven and awesome cartridge. Absolutely love the 30 6 Like I said, I'm taking it hunting myself here real soon. But... Pretty, pretty cool stuff, but way on out there at a thousand, that sucker is dropping real quick. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you learned something. I always enjoy doing these type of videos. Comment down below what you guys want to see next time. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. 30 on 